Hello, good morning kids. Good morning, great family. How are you this morning? Okay, I hope all of you still excited to learning our online math lesson for today. Okay, in this today online math lesson, I have prepared a video about data handling with a bar chart and a pictogram. Okay, in the previous week, we already talked about how to organize the data from the table and then convert it to bar chart. But uh, I have never mentioned about step and to step to do to organize organize the data or to display the data itself. Okay, from uh, for today's video, I will give the definition and then we will see the step to step to display the data and how to read the data. Okay, and then after this, you can do your quiz in your workbook. Okay, if you still don't understand about this video, uh, make sure that you have you leave the comment in the comments uh, box in the YouTube. And maybe after this, I will take a little bit your time on this Friday to do meeting to discuss uh, everything that will be the question. If there's a question, if there's no question, so I will not. Uh, call a Zoom meeting in this, uh, in this Friday or if that's not possible to hold a meeting maybe I will just make another video and answer your question okay now let's move on to the okay kids what's the point that we have to learn today is about what is the data what is the data and how to display the data in math Okay, let's move to the definition first. Um, the, the data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurement, observation, or just description of things. So, if you want to make a data of you, you want to collect a data, maybe you can find the same people that have the same hobby with you. Or you can find how many different height in all of the students in your classroom or how the average of the latest math score in the classroom so it can be a data also but a data is uh, a data is actually sometimes there's too many of data so means that uh, it's hard to us to read all of this so that's why they prepare some ways uh, to organize the data like uh, they are using a table uh, bar chart pictogram or line chart okay in the previous week in the zoom meeting we already talked about another way to uh, display the data in math but it's actually like line graph uh, not pie graph uh, and then histogram or something but in your book, uh, they only mention four of ways of display the data. So let's discuss this first. In a higher grade, maybe you will go much further than this one. Okay, now we will move to the bar chart. Okay, kids, this is the bar chart. Okay, the definition of the bar chart is one way of how to represent the da data as horizontal or vertical bars okay and the length of the each bar is proportional to the amount that is present okay what the meaning of that okay there are three main types of the bar chart and the first one is the vertical bar chart you can see this over here which have we already write the example to you this one is the vertical bar chart and the th second one is horizontal bar chart which is the bar is in the horizontal horizontal axis um okay now the number three is double bar chart double bar chart is the bar chart that has um the bar chart that has two bars that join all together um, it will help us to compare or present more than one kind of information so means that there's two kind of information over here but uh, on above in the vertical and horizontal 
is actually only one of information. Okay, kids. Okay, you can see over here that we for the teacher here is um for the bar chart that is vertical is actually line in the x axis and in the horizontal is line with the y axis. I'm so sorry that get it wrong in the previous minutes. Okay, this one. When it's laid like this, it's actually the same with or how to vertical that represent uh, itself. What is the difference that only from the place that they put? Okay, everyone, this actually the same. Okay, did you already say axis, axis, axis? What is the meaning of the axis? Okay, the axis is um the line, the imaginary line that help us to body rotates for example this one is axis this one is axis and this one is also axis this one is x axis and this one is y axis okay remember when Sophia asks you to put axis means that you draw a line but when I ask you to put x and y axis means that you make sure that you make some coordinates uh, whether it's a quarter, only quarter, or one whole turn. Okay, next, continue. To how to make a bar chart. Actually, I'm just copying from your book. Um, How to make your bar chart. The first thing is write a chart heading. Um, oh, no, no. Write a chart heading. Head, right. Okay, it means that we have to write a title first. Title, yeah. Sorry. Okay, and the second is draw your x-axis and your y-axis and give them labels. We already talked about, uh, there's something that we talked about a while ago. And then draw your x-axis and your y-axis and give them labels. So means that you have to give the name to every axis that you already made. And then draw bars to show the number of the data on the vertical axis, label them. Make sure the width of each bar is the same with the same distance between them. And that they start at the same line. Okay, first they have to start at the same line. And the second, the width of each bar has to be the same. The distance of the width has to be the same uh, into one bar to the next bar to the next bar again. Okay, kids, do not forget to put a scale if you think that the number is too many. What is scale? Scale is the difference between the first number and the two number. Okay, I will talk about it later when we see the graph. And then number five is use the different colors or pattern for different sets of data. Okay, let's see the example. I'm just choosing the example from your books. This is uh, a table that I'm copying from your books. The table above The table above show information about students favorite ice cream paper. Okay, for the boys, there's five people that like van vanilla, ten people that like chocolate, and five like strawberry. And for the girls, there's seven people that like vanilla. Eight people, eight, eight girls that like chocolate and ten girls that like strawberry. So this is the answer. You can look after your book also because it's already answer about this. Okay, look after the bar, the bar that already created by your book. And then this is the heading that we are talking before. The heading is actually the title, Students' Favorite uh, Ice Cream Bever. Because there are two people that represent in this data, which is, uh, of which are boys and the girls, so they put uh, the blue color for the boys and the pink color for the girls. Okay, this one is the frequency. The frequency is actually always um, often to put in the y axis. And the label. Um, bar label for something that like month, um, flower, or they always put, often put in the 
x-axis. For your information, the vertical bar is more after rather than a horizontal bar. But it's up to you if you want to make another bar. Maybe you just want to make something that different from others. Okay, uh, I don't mind it. But right now, uh, that already prepared in front of us is vertical bars. Okay, let's see. This is the scale. They took the scale. The different for the scale is two. Uh, before the interview, I already tell to told you talk to you that the scale is the different between one numbers and two numbers. Okay, when you see this number above is two, and you subtract with a zero in the below, so the difference between them is the the difference between them are two. Okay, there's the same. 4 subtract by 2 is also 2. 6 subtract by 4 is also 2. 8 uh, subtract by 6 is also 2. And the others are the same. So the scale from this bar is actually 2. Okay, everyone. Why do we have to make a scale? Okay, sometimes if you don't want to make a scale, it's okay, everyone. But you, make, you have to make sure that the number is not that much. If the number is too much, if you do not make a scale, it will be hard for you to interpret the, the data itself. Because how could you make 1 until 1000 over here, the frequency? 1000 and 0 until 1000, we have to represent in one bar chart. It's impossible because our book is not that big. That's why we should make a scale. Okay, let's try to read another data. Okay, for example, you can see over here that for a vanilla flavor, actually, the girls, um, the number of the girls that like the vanilla flavors is over here. So, means that this is between uh, 8 and not 6 and 8 is 7. So, means that there are 7 girls over here. So, if you want to read it for the boys, if there's five people that like vanilla flavors. And for chocolate, the boys is actually get see, it's ten people that like chocolate and the girl is only eight. And that's the same for the, uh, the, for the strawberry is actually five uh, for the boys that like it. And the girls is ten girls that like the flavor. Okay, from this data, we can know what the, how many people that actually in that class, how many girls and how many boys. For example, this one is 7. 7 you can add by 8, okay? This is 15, and then you can add by 10 is 20, 25. So, means that if the question is asking, if the question is uh, how many girls that like the flavor of the... All of oh, how many girls that in that class? So we can know the answer that is 25 of girls in that class. That's how you read and interpret the bar chart. Okay, kids? Okay, I guess that there's something that you already understand. This one is bar levels. Bar levels is show that information that you want to make as a frequency, as a number that you want to show. It can be, this one is about the flower that they like. It can be how many months in. I believe that you already know and already mastered the bar chart. Okay, kids. Right now, we already finished with the bar chart. Let's move to the pictogram. Okay, kids. Now we move on to the pictogram. Okay, because uh, when we want to organize the data with the pictogram is kind of easy so the tutorial will not make step or step I just follow the book so first let's see what is the points of the pictograms a pictogram is one way of display the data using a picture remember everyone using a picture each picture shows a number and for many data that has to be displayed we make the key scale and the picture used in the pictogram can be symbolized of the question. So let's see the example from your books. This is uh, actually already has the pictograms that shows the number of fish sold by each market seller last week. 
So the key shows that these pictures represent 10 fish. So let's see, let's see because there's so many fish that has been sold, um, that has sold. So that's why they represent the key. One fish is 10 fish. Okay, everyone, so read it that one fish is 10 fish. Again, so this means that the Tony had two fish that had been sold. So means that how many then? Right, it's 20 of fishes and how about Tina because there's four fish means that it times them with 10 because the key scale is 10 so means that 40 fish fishes and Putri only had 10 fishes and Rani had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 it will be Fishes. Okay, that's why how to display the data using the pictogram. It's easy, right? Okay, you can do it by yourself. Okay, after this, if you still have the question about bar chart and the pictogram, make sure that you leave the comment in the comment box below the video. I will check it out later and then I will answer it to you. If this possible, I will make a Zoom meeting on Friday, this Friday, but if you don't want it, I just maybe just make another video and answer your question. Okay, everyone, thank you for today's lesson. Uh, let's meet in another video next week. Okay, make sure you have a time to doing the Zoom meeting next week with me in Friday.